January blast, January recap. In other words, I am here to present you guys 31 songs because we have 31 days in January. Now, this is just a new type of video I want to make. Maybe I'm going to be doing it uh, every month now, at the end of the, every month. You know what I'm saying? Sort of like uh, re-evaluating what uh, we've been listening to um, this month. Now, uh, it's just, I'm going to speak on me. Like, I mean, from my perspective, what I've been listening to. Uh, but I'm actually really interested in what you guys have been listening to this January. And I would love... Uh, if uh, the fact if you will recommend me some songs, you know your jams, uh, I actually really want to explore what you guys listen to, and um, uh, definitely I will check it out. And you know maybe in the next episode or something like that, I will um, mention, hey, look, I've actually listened to this, this, and that. Um, show you your comment, you know, hey, look, this a person suggests me this. I uh, listened to it and uh, I liked it, for example, right? So, um, yeah, so I feel like it, it's a cool way to sort of interact with each other, uh, suggest each other's songs. So le let me start. <laughs> uh, I have 31 songs, as I said. So I divided my songs into two sections. Uh, the first one is called Makes Me Happy. Now, it, it, these are the songs that turn me, like, turn me up pretty much. I'm ready, like, I, I get hyped. I sort of dance to it, I, you know, I, I, it makes me happy pretty much and um, it gets me going. When you have a sad day, you just turn on this type of songs and you start at least feeling better, just dance to it, you know what I'm saying? So, um, so uh, Roger Rich, The Box, you know, pretty much the main hit uh, right now, The Box by Roger Rich. Uh, if you haven't heard it, definitely check it out. Um, Lil Uzi Vert's Futsal Shuffle 2020. I'm really addicted to this jam. Really my thing. I am. Uh, it's like one, two, three, four, go. Are you serious? No, 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 no. It's like it's it's a really uh, it's an amazing bop to me at least. Uh, Harry Styles, Treat People with Kindness. Uh, then we have Kate Trinata, uh, Midsection. Featuring Pharrell Williams, also another great song. I just, you know, Pharrell production. If you have watched me for a while now, you you know that Pharrell Williams uh, turns me on <laughs> when it comes to like his production. Like he's he's amazing. His music is great. Um, his signature style is really cool. Um, nice to meet you. What's your name? I wanted to say, but actually, it is nice to meet you. Megan Trainer's version of "Nice to Meet You." Uh, it's a different, completely different song. It's just the, the similar name as a Nile Horn song, uh, and this song features Nicki Minaj. It's a cool song. Uh, "Momentary Bliss" by Gorillaz. I reacted to it on this channel. Um, and by the way, I mentioned Megan Trainer. I've listened to her uh, album, not the whole entire thing yet, to be honest. But I just want to say. Um, you know, if I don't react to something, that mean, that doesn't mean that I don't listen to it, you know what I'm saying? I just cannot have time to react to everything I listen to. But, um, you know, this list are pretty much, you know, this recap is an opportunity to talk on the songs I didn't have a chance to talk about. So, uh, Megan Trainor's album, um, Promising Start, though. I've listened to like five, six songs. Not, not a bad project. I thought it was going to be worse, but it's actually... Uh, still on Megan Trainer's standard. Um, Lil Nas X and Nas Rodeo, that's a remix, really cool song. Loved it from the beginning, and now this remix is, adds really cool things as well to it. Uh, Tyler the Creator, Group B, really fantastic sample and cool um, flow. Uh, Physical by Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa surprised me with this one. Uh, completely different style and yet amazing it works retro uh, vibes I'm getting from this uh, track also physical and um, future nostalgia was also an amazing song so I haven't reacted to both of these singles but they are great they are actually amazing so I'm I'm back at Dua Lipa's hype although I never uh, you know got away from Dua Lipa hype but um, that's the, that was the only one song, Don't Start Now, which I reacted sort of negatively on this channel. And maybe people thought that, hey, like, 
Bob is not liking Dua Lipa anymore. What's happening? But no, like I'm Dua Lipa is my babe uh, still to this day. I love her. Um, and even Don't Start Now actually grew on me. It's a good song. So uh, let's continue. Dance Again by Selena Gomez. Uh, actually, this song grew on me too. On my reaction to Selena Gomez's album, I thought mm, like, it was something missing. But actually now I'm dancing to the groove. I'm, you know, I'm jamming to this. It's a really cool, nice song. Uh, Cumbia Espacial by On The, on the Tropica. Um, this is from 2012, it's just nice, sort of salsa, really awesome um, song, you know, if you like Latino type of uh, melodies, um, and you like salsa dance, just check it out, check this vibe out, it's really cool instrumental, you might like it. B-I-T-C-H by Megan Thee Stallion, um, Anybody by Burna Boy. A Hard Day's Night by The Beatles. If you like The Beatles, I mean, you already know the song probably, but if you're not really familiar with Beatles and um, you don't know why they're so famous, why they're so iconic, I, I wouldn't say this is the best representation, but it's still a good song. You know what I'm saying? It's just one of the many, many good Beatles songs. And um, check it out, Hard Day's Night. It's a cool song. Uh, good Vibrations by The Beach Boys. Uh, also sort of a classic at this point, um, released a long time ago, but um, really, it gives you good vibrations, it's a really good vibe song. And my list is over at this point, when it comes to makes me happy section. Now, the la um, second section, last section, uh, I call it emotional or other. There are some emotional songs, but there are also just r rap songs, uh, but I didn't want to like put it, that didn't, don't necessarily make me like hyped or excited, but um, uh, still, you know, really good songs and I really like them. So, uh, emotional, uh, Demi Lovato's Anyone, um, Anyone, great song, uh, and you can definitely hear the pain, uh, Demi Lovato's performance is great on that track. Uh, still Learning by Halsey, another project, Manic by Halsey, I didn't react to, uh, but, um, you know, if, in case you're interested, I, I thought it was okay, uh, good project, but um, not necessarily, like, uh, album I want to come back to and listen to all the time but still nonetheless uh, you gotta appreciate the Halsey's effort she she still did a good job um, on her album and um, still learning is a good song Simmer by Hayley Williams now I kind of became a Paramore fan in 2017 that was actually my first project full project I listened to by Paramore and I really enjoyed it uh, it was a different vibe compared to other things they'd done but I really uh, enjoyed um, Hard Times and uh, Told You So. You know, uh, I cannot remember. Uh, After Laughter. Yeah, that's the album. Uh, but um, now Haley Williams, uh, lead singer from Paramore, uh, is, is going solo. And um, Simmer is a really good song. I really enjoyed it. What To Do by Jack Boys. You already saw from my reaction video on Jack Boys that I really enjoyed the song, What To Do, and I still... To this day, listen to what to do is a great, great, fantastic song. Um, now we have Kaigo, Avicii, and Sandra Cavez's collab, Forever Yours, also an amazing song. Uh, no Regrets by Eminem featuring Don Toliver. That's the, that's the song I decided to pick from Eminem's album, although there were um, a few other choices I could actually pick because I, you know, there are um, quite a big amount of tracks I actually like from that record. Uh, but my pick was uh, No Regrets for this video. Uh, Amaya, El Relampago. Uh, I actually discovered this artist pretty recently. She reminds me of Dido, if you know Dido. Also like soft, uh, beautiful, melodic voice and um, sort of soothing, but at the same time, it's, it's an emotional song. It's a pretty sad song. Uh, but it's good. It's it's really good. And if you are craving for some Spanish music, some Spanish really high quality pop music um, that uh, actually uh, can bring a lot of emotions from you, uh, definitely El Relampago by Amaya. Check it out. Uh, Juroque by Rosalia. We reacted uh, to the Rosalia song on this channel. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we covered everything on that part. Uh, Bro Brother Ali 
work every day. It's a good song. It's talking about how, you know, we work every day, like nonstop, sort of, I mean, yeah, there are weekends, but like we give the whole selves to the work or to the school, universities, but like there has to be more to life than this, you know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a cool, it's a cool song and I love the melodies, I love uh, the rapping, uh, I love really beautiful um, sample that is going uh, throughout the song and the chorus. It's, it's a good song, check it out. Uh, On Melancholy Hill by Gorillaz, legendary song, legendary. I will leave it at that. Uh, Benny the Butcher, 18 Wheeler featuring Pusha T. Another cool rap song I was enjoying. Uh, now, East by Earl Sweatshirt. Uh, it's sort of, um, I saw a meme where, you know, Joker, you know, the movie Joker, Hawking Phoenix, he was dancing on the stairs and like the meme was saying how the East actually is a perfect soundtrack. It could have been this perfect soundtrack to Joker. So uh, if you like the movie Joker, maybe check out the song East. Uh, Holocene by Bon Iver, really nice song, really melodic, really powerful, really good. Pour One Out by Balour, it's uh, my friend Sam, who you saw probably multiple times on this channel. Um, he, you know, made an album. He published an album, official album, it's on Spotify, on Apple Music, it's called Multiplicity. Uh, check it out, I will link I will put a link in the description who, for those who are interested and Pour One Out is sort of my choice for this video. Uh, it's track seven on the album. Uh, Mahogany by Lil Wayne. And we close the video with Underdog by Alicia Keys. Nice R&B. Um, it's, a, it's a song from 2020, but it, it's, it really feels like a throwback because the production is sort of like from 2000s, typical Alicia Keys from 2000s, but it, it works, it actually really works because I feel like people missed this type of songs. It was a uh, pleasant to talk to you guys and present these songs to you guys. Now it's your time to shine. In the comments below, suggest some songs that you liked. Um, let me know in the comments below also uh, what you think about my picks for, for from January. Do you know about any of these songs? Uh, what's your opinion on them? Let me know. Share, share from, with me, please. Let's talk with each other. And um, yeah, I guess we ended the dead. Uh, last thing I want to announce: if you don't want it, I can you know cover your name or you know I don't have to reveal your identity. But like I feel like it would be cool to show you to to this platform, to the Musically Bob channel, to everybody who is watching this channel. So if I will heart you know, love your comment, you'll basically know that uh, you're gonna be um, represented in the next video like this uh, at the end of February. So keep an, eye, keep an eye on that. And that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.